Here in the U.S. on Capitol Hill tonight, tough questions about the origins of COVID-19 and will Americans ever get a clear answer? House Republicans holding their first public hearing on the origins, their first witnesses all testifying that they believe it came from an accidental leak at a Chinese lab. What the former CDC director from the Trump administration said today and Dr. Anthony Fauci's response tonight. Rachel Scott on the Hill for us. Tonight, Republicans ramping up their investigation into the origins of COVID-19, holding their first public hearing to tackle the burning question, where did the virus come from? Discovering the origins is vital. It matters for the future of the world. All three witnesses invited by Republicans argued the virus was a result of an accidental lab leak in Wuhan, China. There is no smoking gun proving a laboratory origin hypothesis, but the growing body of circumstantial evidence suggests a gun that is at very least warm to the touch. It comes just days after a report that the Department of Energy suspects with low confidence that the pandemic likely started with a lab leak. The FBI agrees, a conclusion they reached with moderate confidence. Dr. Robert Redfield, the former CDC director under President Donald Trump, testified he was excluded from discussions with Dr. Anthony Fauci and other scientists because he believed that the lab leak theory needed to be investigated. I was told to me that uh, they wanted a single narrative and that I obviously had a different point of view. But Dr. Fauci telling Politico that accusation is completely untrue saying no one excluded anyone. Nearly three years after the pandemic started, the intelligence community is still divided on how it all began. Four other intelligence agencies have determined the virus was more likely spread through natural transmission, a human being exposed to an infected animal. Today, the director of national intelligence was also on Capitol Hill, grilled on when Americans will get an answer. China has not fully cooperated, and we do think that's a key critical gap that would help us to understand what exactly happened. The White House making it clear there is no consensus from the government, but insisting the president wants to get to the bottom of this. And tonight, intelligence officials are warning the mystery itself is a threat. David. All right, Rachel Scott on this again tonight. Rachel, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.